Has this ever happened to you guys? So the electric parking brake went on. So I'm trying to <coughs> park the car. So when I um, engage my parking brake, the uh, uh, parking br electric parking brake light went on. So I'm gonna help you guys to diagnose and fix this problem. So to help you guys to diagnose if your e-parking brake light went on, our first thing you need to do, make sure your uh, e-brake motor is working or if that's not working, uh, the problem is the motor. So in my case, my uh, e-parking motor, it's not the problem because uh, I can hear that my um, that my uh, motor e-parking motor is still working because right now when I when I engage the parking brake over here as you can see that's the, the light went um, on so I think it this is my problem right here which is I have the um, part number already the parts already ordered last week and it came today so I will show you guys how to fix that and to diagnose if it's that's a problem or not is you know make sure the motor is working so I diagnose mine how do I know how do I know that uh, my motor is still working I will show you now so the emergency light went off right now because I just return on the light uh the car because when you turn off the car the light will go uh, out and then we'll reset everything but in my case even though i turn off the car and then turn it back on the light will go on again if i uh, engage this button right here so um to know if my um e-brake motor is still working so what I did is was uh, so put my seatbelt on first you can see my seatbelt light still on and then I'll press this uh, brake hold right here it's gonna come out over there and then it will say in the dashboard and then put your uh, gear to neutral right here it's in neutral right now right there and then remove your seat belt after you put put it in the neutral and then press the brake hold button so release the seat belt right there you can actually hear it i don't know if the camera will pick up and my uh brake engage and then it's just doing the dashboard so it means my uh e-brake motor is still working and then when i release this button it will release the brake so it means my motor is still working so i'm guessing this is the problem that's why i ordered the parts already and then i will show you guys how to um uh change this right now so to remove this button right here it only has i think a uh, plug-in wire uh under so we need to remove this uh, thing right here so it only has two screws i believe one here and one on this side so we're gonna remove the boot we got uh, we're gonna remove this trim right here i don't know if you guys can see you can use a uh, flathead screwdriver like this but be careful so in my case or the what's it called plastic uh removal trim if you order that in Amazon or whatever, you guys uh, can find that one. But in my case, I don't have it, so I'm gonna use flathead. But I'm gonna use um, uh, what's it called? Uh, this towel right here to just do that cover like that, so I won't damage the trim. So I already removed this trim right here. So since I don't have the right tools so i'll be careful to uh remove this so you know 
I just do this my flat head screw and then do this so I, I did I try to pry from here so you guys see there's like space right there right here I don't really make a damage there but that's okay so here's the clip where I'm talking about one two and then all the way right there so here's the screw where I'm talking about actually it's not here it's actually here this screw right here one and two we're gonna remove this screw and then I think it's just gonna come out like that so it's gonna remove the whole assembly right here through here So as you guys see right there, I thought I'm not gonna remove this trim, but I have to because uh, this is this thing is hard to uh, pull out, but it's okay. They all clip only there, and then we're just gonna remove the wiring thing right here. Where's the connection that I'm talking about? So this is the brake hole connection, and then one right here. And you guys can see right there the white one that's for the parking uh, button and then there's one here for the econ button so we're gonna remove that one now and then we go from there so we are ready to remove the wiring connector on the bottom so we're just gonna remove it like this and here's the behind the thing right here and here's the part that we need to change right here this box right here so here's the new part that i ordered in amazon you know they look oem for me hopefully they will work well let's see so on this one I think we just need to let me see right here I think we need we just need to push this thing until this part will come off and there's one two I believe it's all oh, four right here it's two more in the back so let's remove it now as you guys see already remove it yeah I think this thing got burned out already as you guys see there's like oil right here so I believe that's a problem that's why this uh, this button is not working anymore because it get burned it don't smell burn but see this is the original one and then here's the new one I mean yeah it's not all we am but you know they look the same so hopefully this fix the problem so let's just put it back uh, together you know vice versa so just uh, put it back how it used to be and then we'll see if this is fix the problem So I put them back together now. So let's see if 
this is just the problem right here it's the original one it's already put the new one in let's see if that's fixed the problem so let's not start the car okay let's try first if all of this button works so let's try the econ mode all right the econ mode went on now the brake hold oh i need to wear the seat belt let's see all right it's work it work so let's now try to engage this parking brake with just pressing the brake oh yes 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 finally so you guys i don't know if you guys can hear it oh let's now engage yes yes oh yes finally yes finally fix it so that's it for today's video guys i hope i help you guys with your problem so next time something came out in your car don't uh be scared to um uh, touch it but first thing you need to uh google us first before you touch anything because like myself i didn't know anything about cars i only watch youtube or you know uh google first before i do anything in my car so like myself I did it so i know you guys can do it too so that's it for today's video guys thank you guys for watching i i hope i'll see you guys next time so stay tuned thank you